Now, three people were shot dead in separate bandit attacks in Baringo North and Marquette East. The bandit attacks are the latest in an area that has sections and a multi-agency security team trying to eradicate banditry in the north. Ayub Aiden reports that the attacks and resultant deaths have put locals on edge. attacked him while he was tending to his livestock near Tatia Primary School. They shot him at close range and killed him on the spot. In the Litere area in East Marraquet, two people were killed while an unknown number of livestock were driven towards the Tiati area. The frequent killing have led to protests in Cabernet and Marigat, where locals want the government to take actions to stun the tide of death at the hands of bandits. Tunataka kuona kwamba sulu ipa ili sulu ipatikane ni, ni serikali wote kuungana na viongozi ikiwa ni pande ya security wafanye kazi yao filivyo ikiwa ni ma chiefs ikiwa ni sisi kama MCS sisi wote tuungane pamoja ili tupate kupata sulu The death of the 59 year old man has caused fear and anxiety in Tatia area as it has happened as residents were planning the burial of a teacher who is a village away. Definitely the leaders, the local leaders, have never been talking to each other. You know, they were, they actually, they, they were busy talking to, you know, to, to uh, not to each other, but at each other, through the media, addressing problems of their own local areas through the media. Taka tuingie pale, katika sehemu setu, pale mbaka ya baringo not na tiati, Natuoni the increase in banditry in the area has led to 10 deaths so far in Baringo North since the beginning of the year. Among those is the death of a blind primary school head teacher in Kagir. The bandits seem to have outsmarted the multi agency team deployed in the region as they kill and injure with ease and at will, with no one able to stop them. Ayub Aden, Citizen TV. Well,